It's the first ever episode of the Should I Time This Triple D Torture Test because come on watch fam, we gotta start having a little bit of fun around here. What's the most durable watch you own? Leave that down in the comments. The Triple D Torture Test is my version of a durability test for watches, except on steroids. If the watch in each episode still keeps time after we put it through all three tests, it gets a pass. If not, it gets a fail. Simple as that. And just to keep things precise for quartz watches, like the one we're starting with today, we're just gonna see if it still runs at the end. For mechanical watches, we'll throw it on the scope first and see what kind of accuracy it's getting and then throw it back on the scope after we're done to see if it's running around the same. So what are the three Ds? Drag? Drown and drop. We're kicking this segment off with one of the best value quartz field watches I've reviewed so far on this channel, the Bertucci DX3 Field. A few relevant specs you might want to know before we put it through its paces. The case is made out of what Bertucci calls a fiber reinforced polycarbonate unibody case. It has an R type hardened mineral crystal, 50 meters of water resistance, and a Japanese quartz movement. Let's do this. So the case took a bit of a beating, obviously, but it still runs. The interesting part, though, is look at this. The dial actually rotate. I don't even know. I think it was this way. The dial rotated in the case. So that's something. It definitely wasn't like that before. So there's a result I didn't see coming. But anyway, let me give you a better look here at the case. But it's still going. Fifteen minutes later. All right, well, we gave it 15 minutes in the bootleg, kind of homemade turbulence tank. Still going. Well, somebody forgot to hit record on the drone camera. Don't worry, I still have footage. There were two cameras on the ground, but I really wanted that drone footage. And you'll understand once you see this next section why I couldn't do it again. So did it pass all three tests? Well, no, no, not even close. That's why I had said that I wasn't able to redo the drone drop footage because it was one and done. Now this is what it looked like after that one drop. You can see here the crystal, which is 
down here in many, many pieces. That's gone. And on top of that, the watch stopped running. You know, all the parts are still here. I was able to recover them, but, you know, they're not exactly um, together anymore. I have to tell you, I did not expect the crystal to shatter like that. That was a bit of a surprise. But anyway, yeah, here it is. Uh, you know, I gotta tell you, it did pretty damn well up until the drone drop. But that last test, it, uh, you know, yeah, it killed it. To see my full review on the Bertucci DX3 field, click here.